Hi, welcome everyone. Morning. <laughs> Good morning. We're gonna start this uh, this show with a beautiful prayer. So I would like you to invite. I would like to invite you into this prayer. Just close your eyes, and we're gonna talk about expression and releasing and forgiveness in a practical way. But we would like to invite you into this prayer first. So. I would not fear to look within today. Within me is eternal innocence because it is God's will that it be there forever and forever. I, his son, whose will is limitless as is his own, can will no change in this. For to deny my father's will is to deny my own. To look within is but to find my will as God created it and as it is. I fear to look within because I think I made another will that is not true and made it real. Yet it has no effects. Within me is the holiness of God. Within me is the memory of him. The step I take today, my father, is my sure release from idle dreams of sin. Your altar stands serene and undefiled. It is the holy altar to myself, and there I find my true identity. Yeah, today we wanted to talk about expression. And um, yeah, it's so funny, like all these things just seem to land on our, on our feet, really, with this lesson, I will not fear to look within. But yet somehow, I fear to look within because I think I made another will that is not true and made it real. And we believe these demons are inside of us. And so when I woke up this morning, I felt this um, just really wanting to shut down because I knew that I was going to be exposing and expressing. And it's like all these thoughts came in to want to stop me. Like, no, don't. Don't expose yourself. Keep everything to yourself, really. And that's not what we practice here. And so it was something that had come up um, through this week and yeah I, most of my life I could say I've been angry I, I don't remember not being angry and I don't I haven't known always why I'm angry and annoyed um, and I hold a lot of shame about that and that it seems like there's something wrong with me um, and I would do anything to protect that anger too. And so as I began to look more and more into my mind, I could see like how more dishonest I am, um, how um, I will try to get out of things to seemingly protect myself um, and wasn't even aware that I was being dishonest because I, I make it real that I'm doing the right thing. Um, and so, yeah, underpinning all that is these strong beliefs that I'm stupid, that I will be found out to be stupid. And so therefore at all costs, I'm gonna protect that so I don't get found out. And that in that way, I don't get to release it. Um, 
Yeah, and it's just like the more and more I tune into it, it's like it's like there all, all of the time, you know. You idiot, why did you do that? You're an idiot. <laughs> and it's like running the show. And I'm trying my utmost to hide away from it. And then if I get that reflection back at me, seemingly, that I've, I've been wrong, then I'm going to be angry at you for pointing out my error, which is in my mind, because I feel so much shame around that. So yeah, just been exploring these um, projections more that like how I just want to protect that. And I, I obviously I want, I want to hold on to that. Um, of course, I, I don't really, but it seemed too much to expose it. You know, these are all not good things in life. You know, who wants to be around someone that's stupid or angry or who thinks they're an idiot? So it's like we have all these ideas about ourselves that we want to keep hidden. We have to keep them out of the way because seemingly the world does not like those things. So we have to put on the face of innocence to try and uphold a character. So it's like I've just been suppressing well, in the beginning, I wasn't suppressing the anger, but then it was like, okay, I need to manage my behavior so I can be a citizen in the world mm. and not be upsetting people <laughs> seemingly all of the time. Mm. Um, so Anna and I were experimenting um, <laughs> with, <laughs> with this. And so we, we had an expression and I said to her... Oh, wait, wait, before that. Oh, okay. wait, what have you got? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we had this topic. But really nothing was really landing. Nothing was coming, like content or anything to share. Like, okay, so we're just like, okay, we need to come together, talk about the show. So we were there and then Ken says, well, maybe we can just begin this by expressing the thoughts and it's like okay okay you go first and then he starts well, sharing I, well, 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 I, well i said let's express what's not what don't you want to express mm -hmm. is what we will express so she said okay then you go first so i was like okay so i started expressing all of these projections that i was projecting onto anna and i was saying well i see you as a weak so therefore I see myself as weak and I don't like to see that. So I just basically went over every single thing that was in my mind, these projections onto Anna. And after I'd shared it all, I was like, wow, oh, I feel great. Oh, I feel absolutely great. Oh, thanks so much for that. Her face is just like thunder. She's like, well, I don't feel very good at all. <laughs> and so now here comes Anna's expression. Oh, God, yeah. So... Is like with the expression, it just felt like a huge <laughs> hook or something. I just, oh my God, I was so, so, so angry. But it was like, okay, um, I allowed the anger come up. <laughs> like I was allowing it. As soon as the emotion came, I was like, okay, this anger needs to go out. And at first it looked like, oh my God, I just hate you. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. So I went with that for a while. I couldn't like reel it back to my mind. I was just so angry and I was just letting it all out. And not, not screaming because I was crying so much. So it's like, it was like a mix of just saying all these horrible words and, and crying, yeah. but just really... Yeah, just, I don't know. <laughs> well, well, you wanted, and you, you said to me, how, how, how do I release this? Yeah. And I said, you've got to keep going through it. Just keep yeah, letting up the yeah. anger. Yeah, so I was just, okay, just expressing every single thought that was in my mind. All the hate. I hate you because of this, and this, and this, and this other thing too. And then, I don't know, I just came from, for a moment. Somehow it just clicked, okay, God. I'm seeing this, but suddenly just like clicked, like, 
oh God, these are the thoughts that I've been hearing in my mind all along that I almost like ignore them because they are always there. That's like part of the normal inventory of thoughts. I don't know how to call it, but it just feels like it's always there. And I could see that I was holding on to these thoughts that I am boring, that I am not, uh, not interesting or not fun or that I am ugly, that I'm not beautiful, that I'm not, I don't deserve love, um, that I am weak. God, so really getting in touch with those thoughts, I can tell you it wasn't very fun at that time. Well, that's when it all started to drop in, though, to place, yeah. though, because in the beginning it was the blaming of me. You've said all these horrible things. Yeah. And then you all of a sudden were able to take it back to you. And that was when you were like, oh, my God, these are all the thoughts that I've believed about myself mm -hmm. throughout the whole of my life. Yeah. I've been trying to hide this away because I don't want to expose this. I don't mm -hmm. want people to know this about me. Mm -hmm. And then you were just really, really letting go. Really being honest, really being honest, and just saying all these thoughts that were in my mind, but they were always there, always there. And it was really powerful because I could see, like, these hurts, these thoughts were hurting me so much, so much. It was like, constantly holding like a knife against my chest or something mm. that's mm. how it felt like all this pain mm. god so <laughs> it didn't look very pretty at all <laughs> no, i was just like wasn't. i guess that's what the healing is mm. and i was trying to hold it together mm. okay i can allow my my feelings in an appropriate way or whatever a proper way to allow them but I just I just felt like I just let loose that point well you'd also been suppressing a lot of anger yeah. over a lot of time so yeah. that the anger was really helpful to actually the catalyst to look what was underneath it yeah but I it just it was also beautiful because at some point I remember that thing that spirit says mm -hmm. these thoughts must have been hurting you for a long time now but you can release them. That's like, oh, it was beautiful. Because mm. at the same time, like you were holding my hand, you're right there with me, walking through this. Yeah, that was, it felt very bad. I didn't feel good at all, but you were just holding me. You were my mighty companion that you were just there. Mm. And then you just should look we, straight well, into well, my well, eyes. Well, should we, sh should we share oh, this yeah. part first before you share the miracle? Yeah, so, yeah, just there. But there's this beautiful part that we found in the text. So this is what we can just hold on to. So we have all these thoughts. We, we, we believe we're, we're not good. And all this stuff is, is underneath, and we, we're, we're exposing it. And so Jesus can help us with that. And Anna's going to read. It's from the section... Practicing the holy instant. Let's see how powerful this is. For in private thoughts, known only to yourself, you think you find a way to keep what you will have alone and share what you would share. And then you wonder why it is that you are not in full communication with those around you and with God who surrounds all of you together. Every thought that you will keep hidden shuts communication off you will have, because you will have it so. It is impossible to recognize perfect communication while breaking communication holds value to you. Ask yourself honestly, would I want to have perfect communication and am I wholly willing to let everything that interferes with it go forever? If the answer is no, then the Holy Spirit's readiness to give it to you is not enough to make it yours, for you are not ready to share it with Him. And it cannot come into a mind that has decided to oppose it, for the holy instant is given and received with equal willingness. 
being the acceptance of a single will that governs all thought. You don't have to read that, but that's that but this other part I will. You want to read that? Yeah. The necessary condition for the holy instant does not require that you have no thoughts that are not pure, <laughs> but it does require that you have none that you would keep. <laughs> so that's where you were, wasn't it? Yeah. You had none that you that you wanted to keep anymore. I just didn't want to keep those thoughts in my mind anymore. They were too painful. Mm. They were too painful. Mm. And it really felt like um, that I needed to give this over to the spirit. It's like, it was like a wound that was always there. And it was so buried down. Like I hadn't get in touch with these thoughts since maybe I was like directly, like when I was like 10 years old, maybe. But they just stay there. And that was like an open wound that was there. It was getting like more and more infected and it was infecting the whole thing. And it was this point where I was like, okay, this is the thought. These are the thoughts. This is the wound. And it was like, at that moment, the light can come through. Mm. Because you were sharing some stories about all of this, Mm -hmm. of how you can confirm the reason why you were that person. Yeah. And And then what happened? And then um, during this time, you were holding my hand and then you said very, very directly, this is not true. This is not who you are. And somehow it just like really went in. It's like, God, these thoughts have never been true about myself. These were never true. And I was really praying, help me perceive all of this differently. Help me, give me all the things that I need to really (laughs) convince me of this. And God, with these gorgeous, beautiful miracles, started to show up. Mm. It was like the wound was open. (laughs) Now it was ready that the love would just wash over it and fill me. That's how it felt. Like it was like a clean scene and now the love can come in in that space. Yeah, you said, oh, I feel really vulnerable now. Yeah. And I said, well, that's good because now you can actually let the light in. Yeah. It was that point where I could open up to mm. love. Mm. 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 And then you found that lesson, didn't you? It was, yeah. a, it was a lesson of the day, wasn't it? So I made this beautiful prayer. Okay, God really convinced me and really helped me get in touch with the love. And then, like, I just went to sleep. And the next morning, all this, I don't know, it was just a day full of miracles. And as soon as I wake up, I always read the lesson of the day. And what I read, I couldn't believe. I was like, oh, you did, just this, you did this just for me. And the lesson was, love which created me is what I am. I had tears of like joy rolling down my face. And I seek my own identity and find it in these words. Love which created me is what I am. Now I seek no more. Love has prevailed. Love has prevailed. Mm-hmm. Mm. So with that love in my heart, it's like, oh, wow. Yeah. So we want to invite everyone into this release. And so... Oh, first. Well, well, we haven't got much time, so... We don't? We've got 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Well, I had many, very miracles. Okay, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. All the day was full of miracles, but there was one point where I really, really felt something very, very deep going on. And it was during the lunch expression. 
I was translating for my friend Melissa, who speaks only Spanish. And Ken was telling her these things, you can let this go. And when I translated it, it just felt, I just felt like another wave boom, just hit me. I was saying that to myself, you can let this go completely. Oh, that point on tears and tears again. Just a release. I can really let this go. I can really let this go. Then later on that day, again, we were continue like getting content for the show. And you said, I think we, we need to read lesson 67. And I think that lesson is, he said a name, but it wasn't the one. <laughs> and when I open it, I was like, whoa, this is for me. This is another one for me. So yeah, we would like to share like these beautiful miracles that came in with us with these beautiful prayers that we found in the course. And that's how we would like to invite you into, into this beautiful prayer time and just forgiveness, the release. Stop seeing my brother as the guilty of all my pain. And I just saw that it was really all these thoughts that I was holding on to. Mm -hmm. And after that, I could see him with love. I could see you with love. <laughs> yeah. And at that point, it was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So we invite you into a meditation. So if you wish to close your eyes, let me perceive forgiveness as it is. Today we practice true forgiveness, that the time of joining be no more delayed. For we would meet with our reality in freedom and in peace. Our practicing becomes the footsteps lighting up the way for all our brothers who will follow us to the reality we share with them. Let us spend this time with the guide who understands the meaning of forgiveness and was sent to us to teach it. Let us ask of him, let me perceive forgiveness as it is. Let me perceive forgiveness as it is. Then choose one brother as he will direct the catalog, his sins as one by one they cross your mind. Be certain not to dwell on any one of them, but realize that you are using his offenses, but to save the world from all ideas of sin. Briefly consider all the evil things you thought of him and each time ask yourself, would I condemn myself for doing this? Would I condemn myself for doing this? Let him be freed from all the thoughts you had of sin in him. And now you are prepared for freedom. If you have been practicing thus far in willingness and honesty, you will begin to sense a lifting up, a lightening of weight across your chest, a deep certain feeling of relief. The time remaining 
should be given to experiencing the escape from all the heavy chains you sought to lay upon your brother, but were laid upon yourself. Mm. Forgiveness should be practiced through the day, for there will still be many times when you forget its meaning and attack yourself. When this occurs, allow your mind to see through this illusion as you tell yourself. Let me perceive forgiveness as it is. Would I accuse myself of doing this? I will not lay these chains upon myself. In everything you do, remember this. No one is crucified alone, and yet no one can enter heaven by himself. Love created me like itself. Love created me like itself. Love created me like itself. This idea is a complete and accurate statement of what you are. This is why you are the light of the world. This is why God appointed you as the world savior. This is why the Son of God looks to you for his salvation. He is saved by what you are. We will make every effort today to reach this truth about you and to realize it fully, if only for a moment that it is the truth. We will think about your reality and its wholly unchanged and unchangeable nature. And we will begin by repeating this truth about you. Holiness created me holy. Kindness created me kind. Helpfulness created me helpful. Perfection created me perfect. Try to let all thoughts drop away for a brief preparation interval. And then try to reach past all your images and preconceptions about yourself to the truth in you. You will succeed in going past all your images and through the interval of thoughtlessness to the awareness of a blazing light in which you recognize yourself as love created you. This is the voice for God reminding you of your father and of yourself. This is the voice of truth, replacing everything that the ego tells you about yourself with the simple truth about the Son of God. You were created by love like itself. You were created by love like itself. With this, we we want to say that thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the show. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>